When I was four years old, for my birthday, my parents gave me a box of magic tricks. And I remember practicing them all, and they, they really sparked a lifelong interest in sleight of hand, misdirection, and distraction. And then when I was about 12, I was looking through an old magazine, and I saw a picture, and in the picture was a boy who was probably about my age, and uh, he was also fascinated with sleight of hand and distraction and misdirection, but he wasn't a magician. He was a pickpocket. Now, the photographer's uh, attempt to capture this bullfighter as he left the famous bullring in Mexico City in the 1950s, he just happens to have pressed the shutter at the point where this young boy in the front has his hand in his victim's pocket. <laughs> and there were thousands of people there, and no one saw a thing. We don't see as much as we think. Not even the policeman who's standing just behind the boy, <laughs> who you didn't notice until I mentioned him. So that really intrigued me, and from that moment on, I started to study the techniques of real pickpockets. And I now travel all over the world performing a pickpocket entertainment act. I'm not a criminal. I give it all back around the world. And I also work with police forces and security companies and individuals so that people can avoid becoming victims. And I'd like to share with the TED audience some techniques so you can avoid becoming victims, but I don't have time. The best defense, I can tell you, is distance. And with that in mind, it's perhaps brave that two people have been pre-selected to join me on stage. Perhaps you'd join me now, wherever you are. I know there are two people who are going to join me. I have uh, seen them outside, but I haven't met them before today, and they don't know what's about to happen. But give them a nice round of applause as they join me on the stage. Thank you. Walk quickly. I'm on a clock. Nice to meet you. And your name is again? Jeremiah. Jeremiah and... Richard. Richard. It's nice to know you, Richard. Jeremiah, do you carry very much in your pockets? I've I can see something already. In, something in every pocket. I mean, something pickpockets have to do is identify what you... Oh, you have an iPhone here. What do you have on this side over here? Anything at all? Uh, yeah? Keys. Okay. And on the inside, a wallet maybe? Uh, I've got a wallet. And on there. this side, inside, anything? And uh, I've got program from today. Okay. And, and do you have much on, in your pockets? Yeah, quite a lot. Okay, one or two things. Yeah, this is yeah, called okay. fanning the mark, where they check and see what you have. Perhaps I could stand you in the middle, Richard, and face me. One of the things pickpockets do to find out what you have is stand by the sign that says, beware pickpockets. And when you walk by, you all go like this, and they know exactly which pocket the most valuable thing is. <laughs> in fact, a lot of you did that when you were reading the red uh, itinerary outside. You went, oh, pickpocket, and you all went like this. That is why I came to choose the two of you. You were, you were patting quite a lot. Face me if you would, Richard. <laughs> And Actually, take, I, take I your wallet out. No, don't have time. Sorry, Richard, no. I'll take questions afterwards in the bar. You haven't got a gnome, have you? I haven't, no. Uh, this is a wallet. Now, I saw someone recently... Face me, please. That's it. I saw someone recently in a shop in Knightsbridge. He took out his card, put it into the machine, typed in the PIN number, and as he was typing it in, someone very suspicious sidled over and looked at the number and made a note of it on a mobile phone keypad. It's called shoulder surfing. You should always cover your number when you type it into an ATM or a machine. Anyway, this guy then put his wallet away. I see you carry it on the inside right jacket pocket. And as he did that, the guy with the phone put the phone away in a corresponding pocket, and I realized he was probably signaling to the pickpocket who's waiting outside, so they know which pocket to bump into when you come out of the shop. What do you carry in your outside pocket down here, Richard? I can feel something there. What is it? Could you take a it brush? out? Take it out? A brush? Okay. And can I just move you this way a little bit? Otherwise, I'll wait a week, and I don't have time. And uh, that brush came from the outside here. Oh, let me pop it away. Thank you very much. And on this side, what do you have? Uh, some pay oh, that's your pass. bus pass. Okay, yeah, not going to take that. And then the thing on the inside pocket here, your wallet. And on this side, what do you have? Probably a phone. Sometimes I wait a long time for this. A phone. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got a, a mobile telephone and a pen. And on in your trouser pockets, do you carry anything at all? Anything at all in your trouser not pockets? Much. No. Okay. And here. <laughs> Oh, business cards. He's come on for networking. That's very good. Well, I'm going to try things one at a time, and you can decide what I take. What would you like me to steal? The phone, the business cards, or the brush? Brush. It's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing you have to be aware of. Thank you. Another thing you have to be aware of. See, the world's greatest pickpockets work in gangs. And while I was talking to you, the world's greatest pickpocket Second greatest pickpocket was standing behind you. Perhaps you'd like to put them back. Your cards came from your top pocket. Your pass came from your outside pocket. Your brush, I think, came from this pocket. Uh, your pen from your inside pocket. Your wallet from your inside right pocket. And your iPhone here. Give them both a big round of applause. I think they did well in that time. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. So all I can say is don't get close to pickpockets. Thank you for having me. Richard, sorry. Uh, and would you like to just <laughs> both in? Jeremiah, there's your phone. And there's yours, out of the way round. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here.